The feeling is that I just want to rip off the plastic and start digging in the pallet. Should we climb up and see what we... Whew. I got so curious so I had to open this these uh, boxes and see what's inside and here we have the Nintendo Miracle. It's a piano for the Nintendo Entertainment System so you could play and learn piano. And you see, do you see this condition? It's like, it's like it's brand new. So we maybe shouldn't touch this. <laughs> you see Pac-Man right away. A big Pac-Man. Oh, it's maybe a figure. Product number 265. Oh, it's some first for Features. I didn't know that they had made a Pac-Man figure. Right now we are in a vault deep underground in a secret location and here we have the biggest part of our video game collection. Uh, we have around uh, 100 uh, pallets. It's uh, games, consoles, uh, arcade machines, monitors, computers, uh, roughly around 50,000 items. The funny thing is, uh, it's the second time I'm here. I've seen all this stuff, or most of the stuff, on videos and photos, but uh, I have no clue what's in each uh, pallet and each box. I've been playing video games my whole life, ever since I was around uh, six years old. I had the uh, luxury of having a father who was also into games, so he bought home every new console, every new game. So as a kid I was kind of spoiled. <laughs> I could play everything on the first release day. So I've been kept playing my whole life and for the last 12 years I had a YouTube show called Gaming Runner here in Sweden. Uh, mainly focusing on collecting video games. We visit collectors, we visit exhibitions and so. My whole basement is filled with games and around 20 CRT monitors and old uh, video game signs like this one I'm sitting with right here. Uh, it's like a big, I call it Dave Cave, it's like a big cave full of games. I saw this video from this vault actually and when I saw all these pallets with all the games and I heard that uh, a big archive was gonna be created, I just felt like like, could I be a part of this? And also my work career has been as a manager in big warehouses. So I thought combining that with my video game knowledge, this job could be perfect for me. And now I'm sitting here as the CEO of the Embracer Games Archive and it feels amazing. It feels like a dream come true. I got to work with these games and I got to work with people who love games. So this will be amazing. Do you think there's a lot of people who are a bit uh, jealous after your job? Yes, I think there is. I think I would, <laughs> would also be kind of jealous. But there is still hope. We will have to recruit a lot of people in the future. So don't give up. So what do you think? Should we go and open some boxes and see what's inside? Let's go. Ooh. I think we have some good stuff in this one. I took uh, one of the biggest. So uh, let's put it over here and we can check what's in it. So let's see what we got in. Uh, oh, we have to open several boxes. As you stand here, collection from Austria. Should we open and see? You always have to have <laughs> your knife prepared. Oof. I can tell you that uh, this collection from uh, Austria, I've seen video clips from his uh, basement and it's, oh, I can't describe the things he had in his basement. So I hope we have to see some of that juicy stuff here. Let's see. <laughs> well, actually this box is kind of heavy. <laughs> so I think I need your, your help. We have, I can move this one. It's kind of heavy. Maybe it's computers and don't drop it now. <laughs> then I have to send you a bill. <laughs> I have no clue at all what's in this box. So let's see. I have to be gentle with the, with the knife here. Now let's see, it's kind of new stuff it seems like. Now let's see, oh, it's a, a mixed box I can say. We have Survival Shadow of the Katmai for Xbox 360. So here we have a VG5000 home computer. 
basic by Microsoft and Philips. And this one looks, oh, Saxon. And home tablet arcade. It's made by Sega, like the real Saxon arcade game. So it's like a home, home arcade machine. Very good condition. Seems to be a color display as well. I don't really know what this is. Print booster. Oh, for something for PC Engine. I never heard of this one. Print booster. One of my favorite consoles, but I don't really know what, what this is. It seems like a printer and somehow. So here we have a Atari computer. 800XL. Nice box. Now let's see what we got here, an Amiga. And we also have actually two Vectrex. But it seems to be different boxes. It's a CRT monitor with an inbuilt, inbuilt games. And you can also change games. And here we have the other one. I don't really know what's the difference. Here seems to have all, all of the games. So, after having broken into the first uh, box now, how is your, how's your feeling? Uh, I feel very excited and I want to learn more of the things, especially this uh, printer thing for <laughs> PC Engine. That will be the fun thing that we will probably see a lot of things that we don't know so much about. And we got to learn very much from just exploring. Yes, we have to take one more box. I think you have to help me with this one also. It's, it's very heavy. See it as free workout. <laughs> Let's cut it open. We see Pac-Man right away. A big Pac-Man. And here we have a Dreamcast arcade stick. I remember when this one was released. It's a very good fighting stick for fighting games for the Dreamcast. We have a big box here. What's this? Yeah, it is Steel Battalion. This was a very unique game for the original Xbox. You had like a two big, uh, see if there's a picture. Sadly, it isn't. But you had like two sticks. Uh, you had pedals as well. And you had around 50 buttons, I think. An emergency button and stuff. And you could really control a big mecha suit uh, robot. It's kind of rare these days and wow, this condition seems very good. So here we have the instruction booklet. It's like a military book or something. Uh, this is not an easy game to learn. Let's see if we got uh, what's inside here. The control looks like this. We have the emergency button. You have to flip a plastic case and then push the button. I think it is when you're Probably gonna die if you have to escape from the <laughs> from the mecha armor. What do we have more? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's uh, some kind of stick for the some <laughs> computer. And here we have. Uh, I don't know much about this also, but this is like a. Uh, I think it was yeah, it's Sega who made this one. Pico Vision or something. It's called. It's for small children. I want, I want to open more boxes. I want to open this as well, but we don't actually have time for that. But uh, here we got a little sneak peek, or we got a little sneak peek of, of uh, what we got in our big archive. So, so the next step for me is to arrange the transport and the logistics for all these boxes and pallets to move to our premises in uh, Karlstad. And there we're gonna sort out every game of these <laughs> boxes and start building the database so we could uh, have a big, good uh, catalog to know what we got and what we ain't got. Okay, what's happening now? What's uh, we shouldn't open it, but I couldn't hold myself. Let's see. Monitors we got here. And this is something I really love. It seems like it's something from that have been in a video game store or something, but we cannot check that out right now. But it seems like uh, commercial items, mainly for stores. And we open this one also. Ah, more monitors. We 
we will have a lot of monitors, I think. <laughs> but old games should be played at old monitors, I think. So we will have a lot of old CRT monitors, PVMs and BVMs and so on.